Naomi Osaka joins us now. Naomi, good morning and congratulations. Thank you. How, I mean, let's just talk about your win. You're the U.S. Open champ. You're so young. You seem to, for people that don't know tennis as well as others, you kind of came out from nowhere and had this incredible tournament. How are you feeling this morning? Is it still kind of sinking in? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've never been on a talk show before. So. <laughs> well, you're first? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Um, and yeah, I mean, it still feels a little bit surreal, but um, I think it's slowly sinking in. I think what was so cool that was when you were in third grade, you wrote a paper about someone you idolized, and that person was Serena Williams. And you said you colored it in. It was a whole thing. How did it feel knowing that you were going to be playing center court across from her? What did you say to yourself to give you the confidence to play that match? Um, well, actually, I was lucky enough. I've played her once before mm -hmm. in Miami, um, and it just didn't feel that real because it was a Grand Slam this time. Um, and just watching her play in Grand Slam finals before when I was a kid, it felt really different. So um, I think coming into this match, I was just really nervous. Did you look at her and think, oh my gosh, there's Serena? Or did you kind of keep your brain uh, focused in another way? Um, well, when I was like, right before I was walking onto the court, I was freaking out a little bit. <laughs> um, but when I went onto the court, it didn't, it didn't feel like she was Serena. It felt like she was another player. Hmm. Well, you obviously had a great match and, as I mentioned, a great tournament. And people were talking about you for the whole two weeks out at the U.S. Open. You know, obviously some stuff went on on the court during the match. I mean, what, first of all, you're the opponent. You're sitting there trying to play your game. What was going through your mind? Did you even know what was happening exactly with the Serena and the ref? Could you hear it? I mean, how were you feeling in those moments? Um, well, I didn't really know what was going on because I went to the back and I had my back turned. Um, and then before I knew it, um, he was saying there was a game penalty. So I, I was a little bit confused throughout the whole thing. And there, were, there was a chorus of boos I um, targeted, I think, at the umpire. But I guess in, in your mind, you didn't know what was happening. What were you feeling from, just from the crowd in those moments? Um, well... I felt a little bit sad because I wasn't really sure if they were booing at me or, or if it wasn't the outcome that they wanted. Um, and then I also could sympathize because I've been a fan of Serena my whole life. Um, and I knew that how badly the, the crowd wanted her to win. So I don't know. I was just really emotional up there. It was emotional. I mean, side by side, there you are. You, mm -hmm. This is the moment of your career. You've been working for this since you were three years old. And there's your moment. And, and everybody's crying. Mm -hmm. How did you feel and what did you think when Serena said, Naomi, you did it. You know, mm -hmm. this is your moment. Um, well, I felt really happy because I sort of felt like um, she she knew that I was crying and then she was saying some things and I, I was, it just made me happy overall. So. One of the most poignant things I think happened during the trophy ceremony, you just, you sort of apologized for doing what you had set out to do in a way. Tell us about that moment. Um, well, I don't know. I just felt like everyone was sort of unhappy up there. Um, and. I know that it wasn't really like the ending wasn't how people wanted it to be. I know that in my dreams, I won like in a very tough competitive match. So I, I don't know. I just felt very emotional and I felt like I had to apologize. When you look now and now you've, I'm sure, read and learned what this whole controversy was about. Do you have an opinion about whether the umpire did the right thing, whether Serena did the right thing? I mean, do you, now that you know the facts, what do you think of it? Um, well, I'm not really that 100% sure because um, I I've kind of haven't really had time to look too much mm -hmm. at the news, um, and I've been like going all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I can't really form an opinion right now. But um, I mean, for sure, I want to watch everything and I want to know what happened because. Um, this is sort of one of the biggest things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. Can we just shout out your mom who's here? She's in the studio. We just want to give you a wave and say hello. And your, your dad, I know your dad doesn't like to actually sit in the stadium. You said he paces around. But what did you guys say as a family after this big win? Um, well, I mean, my parents said they were really proud of me. And um, I don't know. My mom was crying a lot. My dad wasn't. <laughs> he was sort of a cool guy. And um, I called my sister, too, and she was really happy. Well, you have an awesome family. Yeah. And
I yeah. hope you feel good. You've, this is the championship trophy right there. It belongs to you. Thank you. Yeah, no more tears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> Naomi, thank you. Thank you so much.